Welcome back, Burgundine enthusiasts and strategy lovers. This is Double Seventy Seven Trigger here, and you are watching the Battle of Ultroot. Now, this battle, it's going to be a very fun battle to watch, and uh, I will show you. And it's um, some people might think it's risky, but uh, I thought it was a whole lot of fun. And I'm going to, you know, let you well listen to that just a little bit, but I'm going to skip on through and get to the exciting part here. Now I just moved to the uh, next turn and uh, Kai decided to come out to this kind of space where he's pretty much undefended except for one spot but by a high centaur. Now this is amazing I'm thinking holy cow I can go up and attack him right now? Really? They're, they're letting me... It, he's putting himself in a position for me to attack him right now <laughs> and wait okay I have three major monsters that could definitely do a lot of damage to him right now oh boy he's in for a world of pain <laughs> it's not gonna feel good it's not gonna go down well <laughs> he's gonna be swallowing a, a brick of a pill here because <laughs> what's he gonna do to me besides divine ray and the centaur there, there isn't really much. It, honestly, there is not that much. Um, you know, that can really hurt Vinard right off the bat. And, uh, you know, attacking the centaur, eh, it's, I guess it's risky or whatever. But I'm setting myself up for the next attack, as you're going to see. Now, I'm not going to put my uh, level 9 griffin down there because, um, you know, it, he can't heal up on the fly like my phoenix can. But then again, it's still risky to put the Phoenix down there because I'm very, very close to a Frost spell and, uh, you know, whatever else that Kai decides to unleash. Um, but with the way this battle goes, I just love attacking this castle. Th this castle is just so um, nice to attack. And it's nice to defend, but really just from the, uh, the east. It's only really good to defend from the east. Otherwise... Uh, most of the other ways, it's, it's okay, but it's not that great. Um, so yes, it's a little risky putting the Phoenix there because of Frost spells. They'll do a lot of damage to him. But look at how low I just got Kai uh, with just just the two attacks, and then I have Archers too. So he's not going to escape this battle alive, and I just know it. Um, just because I can heal up one time doesn't mean they're going to be able to heal up all the way. It doesn't mean they're going to be able to do, you know, that much damage to me. Yeah, they put him down to 370, uh, 380 something, but he's a phoenix now. He's going to heal up. He has some good evasion. I have Paul Mighty's on my team. <laughs> That's all I'm really thinking about, and I'm not that worried. Some people may think this is a breakneck tactic, but it's not really that bad especially if you've played the game before you know what Kai can handle I've played as Kai a number of times I know what he can handle it's pretty much two big attacks and then he has to be healed up um, but he needs a few healers or you need to block him off entirely he's extremely weak in the front lines it's just not a good idea to put him in the front line um, uh, one nice thing about being able to attack that centaur in this game is after a certain amount of attacks your percent to attack them goes up so no matter what I'm going to be able to kill off this high centaur even though if you play this regular edition uh, you could possibly keep the high centaur up there you know with Kai and he might evade most to all the attacks and just keep evading um, it's it's very very possible uh, but with Kai running out there like that I thought this is the perfect opportunity I don't need to kill off their whole entire army I don't need to worry about that that's not really my goal right now. I'm moving through Ultrut to get to Tora so that I can attack the Empire. That's my whole goal. I'm going to uh, leave an uh, army here that uh, you know I attacked uh, Baden Hill with. Um, hopefully they can hold up you know, and put up with whatever comes their way. But uh, with this um, you, you know, with this team it's just, it's amazing how, you know, they thought that he was going to be able to hold up. Okay, you put Protect on him and you heal him up one time. That won't save you. <laughs> that is not going to save you. So, 
it just uh, I enjoy it a lot. I love it. I just I think it's hilarious when this happens. This is one thing that I've done with a, a friend of mine is always gamble over whether you know Kai's going to survive in the front lines or if he's going to get killed off and you know how they're going to do that. Just watching the computer play. Um, I don't think they in intentionally thought that I'd come running out there right away. They might have thought that I might not, you know, run right out at, you know, at that. But um, that's one of the few times that I feel it's it's acceptable. I mean, there is, this is probably, like the, um, there's probably like a 10% chance that this might not go well, um, you know, based upon what he does. I mean, yeah, he could have, he could have extra blasted, uh, Vinard that would have done a whole lot of damage. That would have done a huge amount of damage. But they only have one other thing able to hit him. Um, I mean, they could have shot me with an arrow, but, you know, Centaur arrows against Vinard, you know how that goes. Um, so they they didn't really have a whole lot. It was interesting to see him use Geno Frost because, you know, they know I have the two major things in the front line are red. Um, so it was very interesting to see that. Um, you know, my my army is getting lower. I was like, okay, uh, Wyvern's getting a little bit beat up here. I'm gonna pull him out, replace him, and uh, you know we'll move on from there. Uh, don't really have to fight off that lizard guard. That's just gonna be a back and forth, you know, scenario here. With this, with my lizard guard on their dragon, I might be able to pull off a little more damage. Um, you do a little better, and I did, and I'm still in water, so that's awesome. Um, now I'm going to be able to use my breath attack and a few other attacks, plus I have archer attacks. So, I mean, there's really no end to the amount of damage I can pull off on Kai. Um, he's a very weak character, you know, physically speaking. He even says it himself, and it's just, it's so much fun to, ha you know, to get put into this kind of position because um, then, you know, you're at this point here, you know, especially uh, right here at this point, I'm thinking... Okay, all right, 255. Can the Phoenix do it? Can Vinard and the Phoenix pull this off and get the win? Just these two guys, can they do it? Um, should I heal up? What should I do? Well, I'm going to try attacking, see how that goes. Okay, 142, he's protected. I might be able to pull off that kill. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get off 150 with a regular. Uh, but I want to see what, you know, what the critical looks like as far as the uh, the percent goes where um you know it'll show me um uh you know what my uh percent is to hit or miss so at this point it looks like you, you know you're playing this game and you're, you're kind of at this point in the game you're like holy cow maybe this wasn't a good idea but you gotta look at the background you have one two three four healers in the background you have a person that you have a fairy back or a pixie back there that can do protect so all's fairly well. The only thing that could really take a lot of damage and really get hurt badly is the Phoenix because of the frost spells. Um, just all that could really, really wreck that Phoenix. So if this doesn't work out perfectly, you know, it's possible to lose something, but there's times where if you just, you know, put everything into it, um, you're going to get everything out. And so here I went with that attack. I figured I'm probably going to get the kill. Um, you know, it's a very high percent. And I got to kill Kai off, and I'm thinking, oh great, I'm going to get one of his high level... No, I'm not going to get anything. Okay, well, that's uh, <laughs> that's a game on hard. So, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Double 77 Trigger here. Uh, if, you hit, if you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, favorite for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.